Welcome back to another episode of Fishing Glass. In this episode, we're going to be discussing about uh, where have all the stripers and cod gone in the Northeast Atlantic. I've been in K. I've been living in well, I should say the Cape, but I've been living in Connecticut now since about 1996. And I used to go out fishing for stripers, the blues, and uh, back then it was great. You go out, you know, you cut your you fish, you you know, you could keep two or three, and then you head back in with your catch. It wasn't so bad. Then over the years, that's dropped, and now it's down to you catch one if you go out, and you know, and, and the limit is one. And uh, I mean, I believe it's still 28 inches. I haven't striper fished in many years, but still, I believe 28 inches. And uh, but but what happened is is the industry has kind of declined. Uh, even most of your boats don't even uh, want to go out and do that anymore. It's not a economical way to make any money for your commercial, not even your commercial fishing, but your your charter boats. So I mean, there are some that still go out, but for the most part, they don't. And I want to get into a discussion in this uh, in this in this particular episode here about how. I believe it's the it's the uh, the shifting of the poles that causing the water temperature to increase uh, in temperature and get warmer, and therefore a lot of your, uh, your 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 bass and other migratory fish, like cod, etc., are actually uh, moving to colder waters. Uh, I went actually went cod fishing here in December of last year, out past Black Island off of Rhode Island about four hour ride out and uh, mainly end up catching a lot of your uh, black sea bass which wasn't bad but the main objective was cod there was a few caught but not many and you'll see in this article here with the magnetic poles um, which is done by earth sky they're going to get into about the shift and I believe it's moved like 600 miles in the last since the 1800s uh, the pole it used to be in northern Canada and now it's uh, actually going towards Siberia. But look at this brief uh, video done by Earth Sky here. And I'll kind of show you the track. It only goes up to 2019. Um, so beyond that, it's, it's actually even moved further towards Siberia. And the uh, warmer water temperatures are directly affected by the, the, the Earth's uh, magnetic poles moving as well as the Gulf Stream. The Gulf Stream is being affected as well. Uh, I'll get that into, in, into that in a later episode. But right now, in my, in my estimations, the, the water temperature, uh, according to some of the scientists, you know, won't affect so much of the uh, shallower fish species, but the ones that go deep uh, are definitely going to be affected. And as far as their uh, breeding grounds and stuff like that for the... Uh, um, the cod, you know, it's 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 it, it, it's a lot deeper than you think when they do their uh, egg laying, and uh, so therefore, the cod itself is going to be moving off the northeast Americas. It used to now it's up in Maine, and Maine is just the southern part of the of the the temperatures for the water. Uh, they're even going further north to Nat, the cod, and even with the uh, stripers, the stripers are going to be going, you know, to cooler waters because, unfortunately, what happens is the warmer waters aren't as oxygenated as the uh, colder waters. But in late of October 2017, the Magno magnetic North Pole crossed the international dateline, uh, passing the 390 or 242 kilometers in the geographic pole, and is now heading south. That's going into Siberia, but uh, I want to get into, uh, let's see here, not the wise, I want to get into the, the NOAA. NOAA puts out some pretty uh, good articles and uh, scientific studies. This particular one, each species by NOAA here was ranked, you know, in this study here of four vulnerable uh, categories, low, moderate, high, and very high. Animals in the migratory between freshwater and saltwater, such as sturgeon and salmon, and of those that live on the ocean bottom, such as scallops, lobsters, and clams, 
will be the most valuable, most vulnerable uh, to climate effects in the region. Uh, species that live nearer to the water surface, such as herring, mackerel, are the least vulnerable. And the title of this article by NOAA is um, Warming Oceans May Bring Major Changes to U.S. Northeast Fish Species. And uh, it goes into a uh, pretty in-depth um, uh, study. And you can, you can click on these links and you can find this pretty easily. But I just thought this was interesting because NOAA is a reputable site and their uh, studies are, are, are done by quality, quality scientists and biologists and marine biologists. But if we get into the, like the striper here, um, you know, the stripers, this is another uh, particular article, talks about the temperatures that uh, striped bass like, which is 55 to 68 degrees as a seasonal water temperature for stripe to migrate, for the bass stripe to migrate. However, you know, they, they spawn in the waters around 65 degrees. But what happens is, is the water is getting to be so warm that, that they don't like to uh, stay in the warmer waters and will go out to the deeper waters or cooler waters. And this article here was done by Bay State Tackle. Uh, was another, uh, you know, way of explaining what's happening to the cod and the fishing industry as far as the stripers. But, uh, you know, this is just another NOAA extension here. But uh, I want to get into the cod part here. In this particular one, okay, this article here is where are the cod. Okay, the cod. You know. Atlantic cod generally refers to, you know, like we said earlier, it likes to live in a 53 degrees Fahrenheit. That puts the New England fisheries near the the southern warm end of their range. Now our waters are heating up, part of the ocean is cold enough for cod to thrive or shrinking. Atlantic cod along with other species have started to move further north and to deeper offshore water uh, in search of cooler temperatures. The only problem with that is when they start moving into the cooler temperatures of the deeper water, scientists are finding out that that, that, that deeper water where they go in there to do their uh, breeding is not actually uh, working out because they don't find that, uh, that the cod are doing it. They aren't breeding in that uh, cooler water uh, that's deeper. Uh, so they, they like where they're at now, however, uh, you know, due to the past overfishing and, and things like that, mistakes that was made uh, back in the early days, 1930s, earlier than that, but this was a cod haven up here in Massachusetts and off of Rhode Island, in Connecticut. Uh, you can catch a lot of cod, and uh, it's one of the staples of actually uh, uh, Massachusetts. And this was this article was done by the Conservative Law Foundation. Uh, Give Atlantic cod a break: a role of climate change. Uh, you know, the fish, you know, are particular about their environment and the type of fish that like the environment where it's, it's, it's their temperature range. So they're, they're trying to say now it's moving north, north to the poles. So the United States actually could lose uh, its um, fish as far as the cod is one of the big ones. Uh, and this here article here, it talks about this is a climate change service, uh, the Corpinius. Uh, article here, and you know, this is 2019, talks about climate change linked with declining sea cod, North Sea cod populations. And in 2017, the Marine Stewardship Council designated North Sea cod as being substantial or substa sustainable. But today, due to the falling population over the, the last two years, a ruling comes out into effect, which means. The blue tick status has been suspended. So therefore the cod are no longer going to be uh, the blue tick fish. Uh, along with that, they're talking about, you see these windmills in the back of this photograph here. We're still in early stages of that uh, for Connecticut, New York, and Rhode Island. Uh, wash up recently on shore. They may be linked to that. 
However, you know, it, 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 there's just so much going on in the waters that, uh, you know, we lose a lot of our fishing. And it's going to hurt the fishing industry. I mean, the, the ones that go out in the party boats, uh, they don't even go out anymore, like I said, uh, to go out for stripers or blues. I mean, they might, but it, they're lo they lose so much money because people just ain't going to book those kind of trips where you're allowed one fish and you got to come down and spend, you know, 60 80 $100 and then plus the gas for the trip and then all day for one fish. And then, and then who knows, you may not even catch one that you can keep. And that's, that, that's always the downside of going out uh, with limited amount of catch. But the climate change will continue to impact the behavior and distribution of cod in the North Sea in the coming decades. Although, although part of the cod life cycle table places at water temperatures of up, of up to 15 degrees Celsius, the fish species spawn mostly effectively between 0 and 6 degrees Celsius. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm not going to convert that, but the North Sea temperatures rise beyond this threshold. Suitable for spawning areas are like to shrink and shift forward where waters are cooler. Okay, so we already discussed it, that the fish like those temperature ranges. We discussed the Fahrenheit side of it, but cod are found at two to three hundred meters, or basically six hundred feet. Uh, below sea level, swimming 30 to 80 meters above the ocean floor, so what 90 feet, but they migrate toward lower water temperatures, they're likely to come across much deeper stretches of water. These deep sea areas will be unsuitable for the cod, thus contributing to a further reduction in suitable habitat. Therefore, they aren't going to be spawning or uh, creating young cod, which will even make it worse for the actual uh, uh, species itself. And I'm not saying that, you know, there's not going to be ways that maybe this could be fixed, but I'm pretty sure that the direct link people are going to find out is um, more with the pole shift. So we got to you know, figure out what's going on with that, and then the inner core of the earth, uh, it's shifting as well, and you know, I mean, there's so much involved in all that, and I'm going to do an article on that, more related to the fish, but I just wanted to get this out today, uh, because I feel that the, uh, you know, I love the fish myself, a lot of my friends do, but it's getting very difficult to go out into the, uh, um, beyond Connecticut out into Long Island Sound and even out into the Atlantic uh, and have a good day of fishing I mean you know nobody wants to overfish or kill off an industry but people like to catch fish you, you know either you know to say but I mean you can still go out and catch your porgies and your other species of fish but I think that in the next decade 10 years or so you're going to see a lot of the uh the industry either fall away or close up simply because there's just not going to be enough fish due to the temperature change in the water. Uh, let me know in the comment section what you think and please uh, subscribe to the channel and thanks uh, for uh, watching and uh, 